Hey everybody, Randy with Rashley's Border Queue. From now through Easter, we're going to be doing fish. And what I've got here is some uh, Alaskan cod, some small fillets, got uh, half a bowl of lemon juice here. These measurements are not critical. We're going to mix the lemon juice, some EVOO, some Italian herbs, and we're going to put the fish in a Ziploc bag, let it marinate for about 30 minutes. You don't want to let it go too long. You don't want the lemon juice to cook it. Then we're going to take it outside and cook it on the Napoleon 500 gas grill. We want the flavor of the seasonings to come through. After we marinate it, before we put it on the grill, we're going to hit it with this Elk Creek Cajun Stinger. It's got a little bite to it. It's going to be good. Then we're going to take our fillets, make some subs, po' boys, because I am just a po' boy. Hey, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, we've got about a half a bowl here. Not critical measurement. It's just a marinade. We're going to hit it with some EVOO maybe quarter to a half a cup there. Then we're gonna put some of this Italian herbs from McCormick. Doesn't matter what Italian herbs, we're just gonna really crank it in there. We're gonna crank for a while here with a grinder. Get a bunch of herbs on there, in there. Okay, we probably got a tablespoon of these fresh ground Italian herbs in there. I'm gonna whisk this up. Then we'll put the fish in a Ziploc bag, dump this marinade in there, and let it go for about 30 minutes. Just get it all mixed up. It's all coming together. Let's get that fish in the bag. All right, we got the fish all in a quart bag. Going to dump that marinade in there with it. it smells good. I've tried this before and it comes out really good. Squeeze most of the air out of it. And zip it shut. There we go. We're just going to put that in the fridge and let it go for about 30 minutes. I'm going to go outside and get the gas grill warmed up. We'll be back. Okay, the fish has been in the refrigerator about 30 minutes. We pulled it out. We patted it dry with a paper towel. Now we're going to hit it with some of this Elk Creek Cajun Stinger. Just a light coat because this stuff has a kick to it. We'll do both sides, then we'll take it outside and get it on the grill. All right, that's good. Let's get it outside and get it on the grill. Got a paper towel with some uh, grapeseed oil on it. We're just going to go ahead and oil. We don't have to oil the whole grill because we're just going to need a small area. Let's go ahead and get the fish on. Sizzle time. We had the grill up at about 600 degrees when we started. I'm going to time it probably around three minutes on each side to start with, three to four minutes. Then if it's flaking, when it starts to flake, we're done. Okay, we're about four minutes on the first side. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick flip. Didn't stick, that's good. Yeah, it didn't stick at all. One of the tricks to fish not sticking is to have your grill nice and hot. If it's not hot enough, it will stick on you. We're going to let it go about three minutes on that side. And we're going to pull it off. Give it a try. Okay, it's starting to flake. We ended up at around four minutes on each side. Maybe a little over four minutes. Between eight and eight and a half minutes total. It's done. It's still moist on the inside, but it's nice and tender flaking apart. There we go. Let's get it inside. We're going to fix up a sandwich and give it a try. All right, let's prep this sandwich. Got a little bit of mayo. 
I toasted the bread just a little bit, a little bit of onion, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of lettuce, and a little bit of fish. There we go. That looks good enough to eat. I believe we will. Before we dig in, I'm gonna hit it, just a light dose of that Elk Creek Cajun Stinger. Just give it a little extra flavor. There we go, that's good. Oh yeah, that's it. There we go, you guys. Let's see what we got. Man, that's really good. The cod is not a strong flavored fish. It's mild. It lets the flavors of that Elk Creek come through. The Cajun Stinger. <clears throat> we could have left it in the marinade a little longer but it was getting close to supper time. We only let it go about 15 minutes. I think close to an hour might be okay without the lemon cooking the fish too much. I did overcook it just a little bit. We went about nine minutes. It probably only needed about seven, seven and a half minutes. I was scared of the fish being underdone and I overcooked it just a little bit, but not terribly. It's still really good. Well, y'all should give that Elk Creek a try on fish. It, uh, I could have used actually more because I was scared it was going to be a little too hot. But once you cook, the, the heat tames down. So it was really good. I, I really enjoy it. Can't wait to get off camera and go finish my sandwich. So we hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, click like, subscribe. And just a reminder, South Texas Outdoor Kitchens, I'll put a link in the description box below. Uh, handles the Elk Creek rub as, as well as a plethora of other rubs and they are now selling online so if you'd like to uh, purchase any of these rubs check out their website and they ship so thanks a lot guys we'll see y'all down the road from Rashley's Border Q. Adios.